it, O God. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, God, for your loving kindness. Thank you, God, for your tender mercy. Thank you, God, for everything that you have done here, O God Almighty. Everything that you have done already in the room of the Spirit and our spirit is here to catch up with your spirit, Lord. So we ask you, Lord God Almighty, to take over, take charge right now in the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ as we set out, O God, to have my God Almighty, this Bible study service in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that your people that is in the midst, my God Almighty, empower them tonight, empower them tonight. I pray, O oh God, that those that are coming on, may you, O oh God Almighty, empower them tonight, empower them tonight. As they come on, Lord God Almighty, to study your word, to listen your words, to know your word, and to have your word. Yes, Lord. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. We bless you, O oh God, because you are great and greatly to be praised. And there is no other God like you. We ask tonight that you will come in, O oh God, and take charge. Come in and take over, Lord. Come in and take over, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, you are worthy of all praise and all glory. Have thine own way tonight over every one of us, Lord. Holy Spirit of God, come on, people of God, ask the Holy Spirit of God to come in. Ask the Holy Spirit of God to come in. Open your own mouth and say, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come in and take over. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come in and take over right now in Jesus' name. Come in and take over right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, of your divine way. Holy Spirit, my God and my teeth. Take over mind, body, heart, and soul. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as we, Lord God Almighty, call upon the name that is above all names. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. What a wonder you are. Come in, Lord God Almighty, and have your way. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Tonight, Lord God Almighty, we ask, Lord God Almighty, for a word. As your word, oh God Almighty, is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Your word is a light unto our feet and a light unto our path. Come in, O oh God Almighty, and have your way. 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 We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you will send a word, O oh God Almighty, unto us tonight. Father, as you tell me, Lord God Almighty, not to come before you with anything, but to ask of you so that you can dish it out in our plate. And tonight, this time, this minute, we stretch forth our plate to you. Come on, everyone, stretch forth your plate. Stretch forth your plate to the Lord and say, Lord, feed me. Feed me to the fullness of your glory. Feed me, Lord. Feed me to the fullness of your glory. Feed me, Lord, to the fullness of your glory. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God of our salvation. Hallelujah. As we, Lord God Almighty, give you thanks, praise, and glory. Bless God. We're going to have you just be able to listen just like this, okay? All right. God bless. Yes, people of God, hallelujah. So tonight we, we ask the Lord to send forth a word as he always do. As he yeah. said, my God Almighty, I must not come before him with anything, whether on paper or in my mind. I must just ask yeah. of him and he will do the teaching. Holy Spirit of the living God, we ask for a word, word right now. We ask for a right on time word right now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as we give you thanks, praise, glory, and honor, as we bless your holy name, O oh God, for your name alone is great and greatly to be praised. God, we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. People of God, as soon as I ask the Lord for a word, I hear Philippians 2. I hear Philippians 2. And tonight, tonight I am, um, where is he? Is he there? Glory be to God, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you get Joshua for me, please? Mm -hmm. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Joshua. Joshua. I'm going to ask you to read the word tonight, and you're going to um, read it. We are going into Philippians 2. We are going into Philippians 2, and we're going to ask you to read the word, because as, as the way the Holy Spirit do it, I read it, and then he will tell me where to, to teach from, to his spirit. What is that? Joshua is a phone giving that sound. Oh, there's a song coming from your phone. Oh, Tell to call the empowerment line. Tell to call the empowerment line. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. We ask the Lord God Almighty to bless your word. Let your word, O oh God Almighty, speak to our spirit tonight. As we look to thee from whence cometh all help. What is that? For Lord, our help comes from you and no one else. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ. Look at Joshua, come on. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me remember the number. Glory be to God, hallelujah. So we are in Philippians 2 tonight, people of God, and we're going to see hallelujah. where where the teaching is going to come from tonight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm not going to wait on Joshua. He's lingering too much. Okay, let me go forth with the word. Hallelujah. If he comes, whenever he comes. Joshua, okay, go ahead with Philippians 2 and read it clear and loud for us, please. Philippians <clears throat> 2, verse 1. If there be therefore any consolation in us, if any comfort of love, if yeah, any bring, bring that thing of spirit, turn that thing if any bowels and mercies, Philippians 2, verse 2. Both shall ye my joy that ye be like minded, having the same love, being of one accord. Of one mind. Philippians 2 verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness, loneliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Philippians 2 verse 4. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the fears of others. Philippians 2 verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, verse 6. Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Philippians 2, verse 7. But made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. Philippians 2, verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself 
and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Philippians 2, verse 59. Which also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Philippians 2, verse 10. That at the name of Jesus, every name should bow of things in heaven and in earth, and things under the earth. Philippians 2, verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God in the heaven, to the glory of God, mm. the Father. Philippians 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but mm. now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Philippians 2, verse 13. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Philippians 2, verse 14. All right, bless the name of the we Lord, Joshua. Good. Bless God, bless God. I just hear... Oops. Fix that thing for me, please. Oops, oops. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, people. I think it's too high. Yes, bless. Oops, 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 oops. Bless be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Can you all, can you all hear me? Yes, yes, bless be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I hear tonight? I hear tonight. I'm hearing as soon as he's reading and oh God. Why is that thing baby like that now? Bless God. As soon as the word was reading, I hear in the spirit. If you do have your Bible with you, each person choose a verse to get the revelation of the Holy Spirit of it. I don't know if anyone understand what I just said. This is how the Holy Spirit. This is how the Holy Spirit want to do it tonight. Each person is going to get a verse from Philippians two, whichever verse you come forth with, you will able to get the revelation of what the word is saying. So you can look through it and say, okay, verse this, verse that, name it. Shavon, I need to take that those up because I'm unable to hear. Mm -hmm. So people of God, we're not going to linger. Mm -hmm. We are not going to linger. We're not going to waste time. So if yeah. somebody um, have a verse... Yeah. Yeah. Who is that saying yes? Sister Saint. Sister Saint. Go ahead with your verse, please. Shall I yeah. take it off? So fear you may No no you have no 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 Sister Saint You have to call out the verse Philippians two okay. verse whatever. Philippians Philippians two Verse what? Can she hear me? Sister Saint? Yes, I was in Philippians verse 2. Okay, verse 2. Go ahead. Okay. For fear ye may... Sorry. For fear ye my joy that ye be like-minded, have the same love, being of one accord of one mind glory be to god hallelujah did you know that when joshua was reading this word this was the verse that hit me in my spirit right away yeah. this was the verse that really and truly it came out so clear in my spirit 
Okay, Philippians 2, verse 2. It said here, fulfill ye my joy, that ye may be like-minded. I'm just going to do a little part, a little part, so that everyone can get the full understanding of what the word of God is mm -hmm. saying. So right here it is saying, fulfill ye my joy. What God is saying that is that, you remember people of God, us ourselves, we cannot give joy. We have to pull it from the Father. You understand what I'm saying? And the joy of the Lord is what? Our strength. Come on, people. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is, is my strength. You understand what I'm saying? So for you to fulfill the joy, fulfill the joy of the Lord, you have to pull on what God has to offer. What if you all understand what I'm saying? There is no joy like the joy of the Lord. That he may be, yeah. that he be like-minded. What God is saying right there. That we may have the mind yeah. of Christ. Christ. Having the mind of Christ. That we may be like-minded. Like-minded. Meaning, yeah. my God Almighty, that we may, you know, think like God. No, yeah. hear things like God. Able to... Tap in. I wonder if you all hear me. Like-minded, really where you good. can have a oh, mind. Yeah, where you, like for instance, what is, what's saying you have somebody in your midst and that person mm -hmm. is there. Both of you can be in the same house or in the same place. And while you're mm -hmm. there, both of you are what? Thinking the same thing. You all okay. get what I'm saying? Yeah. The both of you are dear. Come on, people of God, I need you all to respond if you are hearing and hearing what I'm saying. Yeah. Amen. You all are dear yeah. and ear, and both of you can think of the yeah. same thing, especially when two people come together, like in marriage or whatever it may be. The two people can able to think. So God said, mm -hmm. like-minded. You, you know, you, you have in that mind like Christ, where Christ is, is saying something and you are yes. thinking it. I want to all hear me. It reach yes. in your spirit yes. as well. Yes. So that is like-minded, having the same love. Look at that. You're thinking the yes. same thing and you're feeling the same yes. love. Yes. I want to all understand what I'm saying, people of God. You're yeah, thinking yeah, the yeah, same yeah, thing yeah. and you're feeling the same love because what? Christ is in the midst right, yeah. doing great and oh, mighty yeah. things. Being of one accord. That's the yeah. only way you can be of one accord when both of yeah. you can come together like-minded. Yeah. You all understand me? Yeah. When you can come together yeah. and can able to think yeah, the yeah. same, can yeah. able to do the same, right there you are like-minded. Yeah. Yeah. Just as Christ, you are doing the same thing. Yeah. Having the same love, yeah. being of one accord. What is one accord? That means if you're in mm -hmm. agreement with something, I'm agree. I feel the Holy Ghost. If you're in agreement okay. with something, I am in agreement with it as well. Come on, people. For instance, while you're there in the same in, in different room thinking, both of you, yeah. both of you are coming in agreement in one accord yeah. with one mind. Yeah. What if you all hear what I'm saying right now? Yeah, one so mind you. because the one Bible, mind. the word of God tell us that my God Almighty, when two or three are gathered in the midst, yeah. coming together in agreement, yeah. come on people, yeah. in agreement yeah. right there, yeah. both yeah. of yeah. you yeah. can yeah. think yeah. the yeah. same yeah. thing. Both of you can yeah. say yeah. the same yeah. thing, yeah. having the same mind. Having the same likeness. I want to all hear me, people of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Matthew 18, 20. 
Tell us, my God Almighty, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So right there, when two people, my God Almighty, come together, my God Almighty, yeah. in Christ Jesus, and started to think, they both can think of the same thing and they are not at the same Amen. place. Amen. The phone yeah. can ring and you and I can say to you, you know, I'm thinking of that tree. Why don't you let us do so and so with this tree? And he said, yeah. oh my God, that's the same thing I called to tell you. You understand what I'm saying, people of God? So right there, this is where God is saying, if there be therefore any consolation, any form of coming together, any form of planning, any form of putting together, any form of making, yeah. you know, reservation, doing this, doing that, people of God, yeah. in Christ Jesus, if, if any comfort of love, look at that, if any comfort yeah. of love. So that yeah. means to say, people of God, in verse one, I, I just yeah. jump in verse one. If, I don't know the Holy Spirit put me in here because I never even realized yeah. I was in verse one. Look at God. And right there, he yeah. said, if any comfort of love, that means said, God said everything must be done in what? Love. If there's no love, yeah. there won't be any agreement. Come on, people of God. No love won't be agreement. I don't want you all to sit down on me. No, please, please, please don't sit on yeah. me. Yeah. If there be any consolation in Christ, if we can, my God Almighty, yeah. able to come together in Christ, yeah. to speak of the things of Christ, to do the things of Christ, to get together yeah. in the things of Christ. If there be any comfort of love, if you're feeling love in your heart to do it, my yeah. God Almighty, if any fellowship, yeah. look at this, if there is any fellowship yeah. of love, come on people, yeah. if there is any fellowship in the spirit, because you have to understand, yeah. to come together, you have to have fellowship in the spirit. That means your yeah. spirit and my spirit must tie together. Come on, man. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying, people? It must yeah, be a, yeah. it must be it, it, it must align together. You understand what I'm saying? If any bowels yeah. of mercy, so right there, people of God, we have to have our bowels of mercy. That means, my God Almighty, if something should go wrong, if one of if one of you should make a mistake on whatever you're doing, there must be mercy to to to, to, to able to help such a one. What if you all hear me? Yeah, yeah. Mercy. There must be mercy. So that's why the Lord said in verse 2, fulfill ye my joy. The only way we can fulfill the joy of the Lord is when we have the bowels of mercy. Come on, people. Yeah. When we have the bowels of mercy, we can fulfill the joy of the Lord. And right here, the joy of the Lord must be what? His strength. Come on, people. Our strength. Yeah, the, the joy of the Lord must be our strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he be like-minded. That we can come together thinking of the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having the same love. Being of one accord, of one mind. No, no, no. One of you all understand what I'm saying, people? Yeah. Yeah, of no, no. one accord. Because when this mind is saying that and that mind is saying it that's it can bring what confusion yeah. that can cause yeah. confusion yeah. On court. you're all you're all on this four that is six people i want you all to come in agreement as well amen amen Glory be to God, hallelujah. So what? So God is saying, people of God, whatever we are doing in his name, we have to come in one accord. If we are doing Amen. something Amen. together, if you are in your house doing something together and it's two of you, Amen. three of you, whatever, you have to come in what? One accord. You have to have the like-minded. You have to have the mind of Christ having the same love. It has to be done 
in love. That is what causes disagreement. Disagreement come when there is confusion and when there is no love. You understand what I'm saying, people? Yeah. When there is no love, and when, when there is no love, disagreement can come and cause confusion. Confusion. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The next person ready with their, with their verse, please. This is what I don't understand with you all. You, yeah. you heard it and still let you all are lingering. Yeah. Come on, people. All right, let me go to verse 3. I'm not going to wait on nobody. Let nothing be done, in, done through strife. Right there is the same thing we are talking about. Anything you're doing, yeah. it must not be done through strife. Yeah. Well, if you understand what I'm saying? It must not be done, people of God, where you're going to strive against with each other. This one is going to say this about this one. That one is going to yeah, say yeah, that about yeah. that one. That is not of God. You must not strive against one another. What well, if you all hear me? It must not be so. Nothing, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. You know what that means? Yeah. Nothing be done through strife or vain glory. What is vain glory? Vain glory is when, my God Almighty, you're doing something and at the same time you're doing yeah. it and it is not giving no glory unto God. It's just going in vain. Come on, people. Going it's going in that vain. It's going no way. It is going no way. It, it won't accomplish anything. I want you to all hear me. It won't accomplish anything. It won't, ac won't accomplish anything because right there it is done in vain glory. And he said, let nothing be done through strive or vain glory, but in loneliness of mine. Come on, people. When God said in loneliness of mind, he's talking, my God Almighty, when your mind can be unto God as it was in Christ Jesus, when your mind can think right, when your mind is focusing, yeah. my God Almighty, the word of God said in Psalms 24, 4, clean hands and pure heart. Come on, people. Yeah. When you're having a clean hands and a pure heart, yeah. your mind, yeah. come on, people, your mind can be able to, my God Almighty, function and do the things yeah. that it are to do yeah. in loneliness of mind let each let each esteem yeah. others better than themselves okay there we go now in many many times yeah. you have in the home in the church wherever yeah. in the school business place name it the hallways yeah. have my god almighty people Come in saying this and saying that. You have people yeah. that, for instance, if I know that Sister Saint can teach much better than me as the Lord user according to her ability, I must able to what esteem her more than myself. Come on, people. Amen. And even yeah. so, listen to this. And even so, if I myself can do it better than her, I must still esteem her more than myself. Whenever you esteem somebody more than yourself, you are helping to to build that person up and giving them more confidence to get into what they are to do and to show them that they are getting there with God or they are getting there with whatever they are yeah. doing. I want to all hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. So God wants for us to esteem each other more than ourselves. It's not for us to brag and boast. It's not for us to yes. do things that is not pleasing in the sight of God. But when we can, my God Almighty, esteem each other, tell somebody, my God Almighty, yes. how good they are. Tell somebody that, oh, you're doing well. Tell somebody, congratulations. I love what I'm seeing. Yes. Even if there's a mistake or something, say, look, you've made a mistake, but God can give you a correction for this. And you can tell them this and encourage somebody's spirit. Right there, you're what? Esteeming yeah. that person more than yourself. You're lifting up that yeah. person. You're giving that person yeah. confidence yeah. in their self to climb higher in whatever they are doing. 
I wonder if you all understand what I'm saying. Yes. Encourage. You understand? You're encouraging somebody, and that is the best thing we can do. It is not that that yeah. is the reason why many people they would they would start something and don't finish it. Why? Because there is no encouragement. Come on, people. No encouragement. Can I hear from can I hear from everybody? Yeah. When when you know some people are try some people are trying and doing whatever they are doing, it's good to encourage them. Yeah, it's good to encourage them. Amen, amen. And said, oh, yeah. I, I feel so proud of you. You are doing well. Oh, you yeah. know, you know, he, he, you can say, oh, you know, I did I did some last night, but you did better than me. Yeah. Come on, people yeah. of God. You do good. Yeah. I like what I see. Yeah. I like what you're doing. So it's good for us to esteem others. Come on, people. Amen. Better than Amen. ourselves. Amen. And when God said, listen to me, when God said better than yourself, you need my God and my people of God. Sometimes you, you, you ever see sometimes you're telling somebody something. It's not really so. But just to tell them something very highly and very good, it helped yeah. them to climb into Amen. a place where they never thought they would ever be come on people yeah so this is what the word is saying right there let nothing be done through strive or vain glory but in loneliness of mind let each esteem others better than themselves so what whenever you're doing it you do it with love not with no. strive, not being a hypocrite. Come on, people. No hypocrisy spirit must operate. You're the most healer of Ashanda. Hallelujah. No hypocrisy spirit. No, no envy. Come on, people. No envy. No strife. No biting. No spirit of hatred. No spirit, my God Almighty of intimidation or retaliation but to know that my god almighty whatever you're doing you're doing it unto god and god will be glorified in your life when you can esteem others sometimes you need my god almighty to look at your children and and, and say something good to them esteem them my god almighty even if you see them going the wrong way esteem them with a word give them a word that my god almighty can yeah. elevate them yeah. can shake their mind a word that can cause yeah. them to think different come on people a word yeah. that can cause it oh you are so oh you are so you know what I do when I go on the road and see the young men them with their pants all the way down? You should see the way I talk with them. I would call them and say, you young man over there, come here, come here, come here, come here. And I call them very excited and I say, come, 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 come here. And they would walk up because they think something wrong. And she said, yes, ma'am, can I help you? I said, yes, you can help me and I can help you. You see, look at your face. You're so handsome. You're so wonderful. There is so much good in you. You're a wonderful person. Why are you walking on the street like that? You want police to kill you? Come on, young man. Put yourself together. If you yeah. don't put yourself together, these police are going to all and pull you. And yeah. they're going. And I just start to hey, come on, people. I just start to give them a word. Yeah. And you would see my God and my yeah. as I speak to them. You would see they start to drag up that pants yeah. and pull it up to their waist and yeah. even out their finger. Maybe when they reach down the road, they stop, but at least something has planted in their spirit. Amen. Give God glory. Yeah. You don't criticize them, you don't bring them down, you don't bash them, but give them a word. Come on, people. Say you are wonderful. You are wonderfully made and fearfully made. God is love you. Jesus Christ love you. You're going to be the best. And you know, talk to them. And when they hear these things, and then you talk to them about those situations. If everybody that go out to evangelize would give somebody a word to esteem them, then God's name would be glorified. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ would be what? Glorify. Hallelujah. Come on, people. Can I hear a amen from everybody? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My God Almighty said, look not every man on his own thing. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is what we're talking about. Come on, you see the Spirit of God is in line. Come on, people. Yeah. Look not every man on his own thing. Sometimes we need to leave ourselves alone and pay somebody some attention. Come on, people. Amen, amen. Yes, God. How do you all hear me? Because you see what you all don't understand, people of God. When you can do without and help somebody, God will leave, draw, draw, do so many drawing yeah. for you. How do you hear me? Yeah, no. yeah, I don't know if anybody hear what I just said a while ago. Amen. Look not every man on his own thing. God is saying, you're paying whatever you have too much mind. You're pampering your own too much. You see, even in life, my God Almighty, many of us have children, but my God Almighty, we are so proud of them. We speak the best about them, but other, mm -hmm. my God Almighty, other children, we think it ought to say something to them about, you know, their life or, or even to tell the parents, oh, you have a wonderful child. May you grow up that child the best way you can. Oh, that child is so sweet that child is going to come to be da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. don't bother to say it about your child you know many people oh my child is a doctor oh she's going to be yeah. a nurse oh she's going to doctor school she's mm -hmm. so bright and she's so sometimes they're lying to you know? oh. sometimes they're very children giving them the hell that they are not looking to go yeah. come on talk to me Amen. I'm, I'm telling you all the truth Sometimes they are lying about their very own children. And instead of just leave their children alone and go to somebody else's child. Come on, people. Say something to somebody else's child and stop paying yeah. yours the attention. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the word of God here in Philippians 2 verses 4 said... Look not every man on his own thing. Come on, people. Look not man on his own thing. Look not every man on his own thing. Let me say this to you, people of God. The, the way I see myself sometimes is that, especially if we are going somewhere, I always, my God Almighty, push for everybody instead of myself. What if you all hear me? I have that kind yeah. of spirit. I would push yeah. for others more than myself. I remember yeah. my God and my yeah. dream. I remember when we were in New York City, we were going to a different state. I don't remember which state it is, but it's somewhere in, in America there. And while we were going there, people of God, I want you all to listen to what I'm saying. Every one of us that are going there, none of us have a job. I don't know if you all hear me. Anybody yeah. hear what I just said? None of us have a job. No job. And right there, my God Almighty, it's a long journey. We're going to take the night bus. And the bus is going to take us all the way there. And right there, people of God, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down before the, before the trip come, come to pass. I'm sitting down and I'm thinking and I'm saying, Lord, what are these people going to eat? What are they going to manage? Nobody don't have any money, but everybody is going somewhere. They have a little money, but it's, it's just going to last for a little while. So I said, you know what? I'm going to surprise everybody. So I went to the store, people of God. I want you all to hear me out. I went to the store and I bought saltfish, codfish, as you American would call it. I bought saltfish mm -hmm. and I bought flour, bought some, you know, ground seasoning like onion, thyme, da, 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 ready to make saltfish flitters. I want to tell you all hear me. Right. And I said, I'm going to make some fried dumplings. Some of you call it Johnny Cake. People of God, mm -hmm. I pressed out and I bought all these things. I remember even buying some fish you know those little sprat that you could fry and eat it to eat the bone and everything one time as long as you fry it yeah. as crisp and nice yeah. and i put down sister craven even hey she? i wish she, she not hear me sister craven even i put down some cooking you see mom hey the lady now she see me in the kitchen what you doing? What you doing? I said, I'm just putting some things together. Putting some things together? 
Anybody ask you to do that? Baba Anna said, that woman give me a piece of mouth. I could pack everything and throw it in the garbage, but I didn't do it. And I fixed everything. I had this basket thing that keep food warm. And I tell him I make dozens, not little bit, you know, dozens of fritters and Johnny Fry dumplings and fry fish and all that people of God. There I go getting a big, tall igloo and I mix lemonade. Mm. Sorry about that. No, mm. I'm sorry about that, my dear. Sorry, sorry. I'll keep a watch for it. Okay, people of God. So what happened is that I got this big bucket. And people of God, I, you know, chip ice. And I mix lemonade. And yeah. I pack everything. When I'm going there, the lady, here are, look at you, look at you, look like you're going to the market. I don't know what's wrong with you. You're always doing these things. Nobody tell you to do it. And I said, this is the pastor, lady. You know, come on, people. This is the pastor. Mm. And she yeah. carrying on and she carrying on. We went on the bus. Two guys were there and they help with the stuff them and they take them on the bus. I even did buy bread too. And they take them on the bus. You see, when we travel, travel, travel about three miles, people, and no yeah. white, what you call it, white squalor, hungriness, or whatever, start the bus, people short. Look at that. Yeah. They start to get hungry. Shabon, please keep this phone in your hand. They start to get hungry, people of God. And let me tell you something. Who first start to, who first I feed? The pastor lady. The pastor lady. What do you hear me? I give her three nice flitters, two dumplings, and a slice of bread with two fish. And let me tell you something. She eat it off all the crumbs. Missy, she pick off her stomach. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you what I'm saying, people of God. Yeah, thank you. This is what the word of God is saying right here. Let, let, let not every man on his own thing. I wasn't thinking of my own self, people. Right. I wasn't thinking of my own self. I was thinking of others. Come on, people. Look not every man and his own thing. Come on, people. Look not every man and his own thing. What is going on with this phone? Oh, shall can you put it over there, sir? And look out for it. Just put it to stand up and look out for it. Glory be to God. Can you hear? Oh, oh look at that. Is he still there? Can you join him on this? Yes, so right there, people of God, you all need to understand and get what I'm saying. I was able to feed everybody and have left over like the, the five loaf and two fishes. Yeah. 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 And guess what? When I finished here, there was hardly anything there for me because there were other people on the bus that get food. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. And everybody talk all the fitters nice and all this nice and that nice and everybody just enjoy themselves. And you know that woman didn't yeah. apologize to me for how she was talking to me yeah. and looking down on me. And uh, let me yeah. tell you something. Because I did that, they were able to have money to spend. Come on, people. Yeah. Yeah. They were able to have money to spend. So what I'm trying to say, when you... 
When you can be that person, is on. Yeah. When you can be that person to look out for others and not just to think of things of your own self. I don't know if you hear me. Be a giver. Come on, people. When you can be a giver and not just want to get. When you can be a giver and not just looking to get. That would be one of the best things for you. Yeah. Understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That would be one of the best things for you when you can be a giver. And not just yeah. to be somebody to get. Let look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. Oh, this yeah. is what I'm talking about, people. Yeah. Every man on the things of yeah. others. You know, people of God, I always find myself in the crowd, like in the company of like families or friends and so forth and i would cook and believe me yeah. i don't even care about me eating come on people i'm serious as long yeah. as everybody get i am happy yeah. you understand yeah. what i'm saying yeah. even if i just yeah. get a little taste and my belly always full i'm always comfortable because just by cooking the food yeah. the smell alone full up with the belly <laughs> I'm telling you. And so, so the word of God here, you see, when we can look out for others and not just to look for yeah. ourselves, then my yeah. God Almighty, God yeah. will be pleased. Yeah. What if you all hear me? Yeah. This is no joke thing. That's all we are to be. That's all the body of Christ is supposed to be. That's all the world should be. Come on, people. Yeah. But it's not everybody thinking like that. But when you do like that, you becomes my God Almighty, a servant of God. Because what? You're following the things that Jesus would do. Jesus would tell the people, lay out everybody. The guy bring the two loaf, the five loaf and the two fishes. He bless it and he serve it to everybody. He did not sit and eat anything. What if you hear me? Yeah. Because right there is what? Doing fasting. Thinking of the word. Thinking of how people life yeah. is going to be. You all understand what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So right there, people of God, let us get that kind of spirit. Have that kind of spirit inside of you. Where you don't just look out for your own self. You look out for others as well. Yeah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. That's what it ought to be. Verse 5, Philippians 2, verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. You see what I'm telling you, people of God? This is the mind Christ Jesus had when he was on the earth. He had this kind of mind when he was on earth. He was looking out for others. Come on, people. He was thinking of others more than how he was thinking of himself. He want to see others, my God Almighty, be blessed. He want to see yeah. things happen for others. So he was looking out for others. Amen. The mind that he have was the mind that was that is in his father. He had that mind when he was on the earth. Let this mind be in you, which was. Listen to me. Which was, I want you all to hear me. Which was yeah, in Christ was. Jesus. When he was, listen to me. When Christ Jesus was on this earth, the mind that he had, my God Almighty, is a different mind from what he have now. Let's all hear me. Yeah. He had, listen to me, he had a mind only to do the will of his father. Unheard. Let's all hear me. But now that he's yeah. in heaven, listen to me, now that he's in heaven, he have a mind to do everything that his father is doing. Both of them is doing it. Come on, people. Amen. Amen. Both of them are doing Both it. Are doing it. 
It's not just he trying to depend on his father while he was on earth. He's doing what his father is doing. Anything the father made up in his mind to do, his mind already made up to do it. That is the reason why in Genesis 1, when he's in Genesis there, when he speak, my God Almighty, in Genesis 6, and said, let us make man in our own image. It wasn't just God himself was speaking. It was my God Almighty he and his son that becomes one. Come on, people. The son was there in him at that time. He, he was in him. The son was in him. So he said, let us make man and he was also oh, talking oh, oh. listen to me he was also talking to the holy spirit come on people because remember you know people of god in genesis 1 it speak about said the spirit of god move upon the water so the spirit of god was in the midst doing great and mighty things yes, yes, yes. you all understand what i'm saying yes. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God was there doing great and mighty things. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So let us have the mind of God that was in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. We need to have that mind. And when we have that mind, we can be kind and loving to each other. Amen. Glory Amen. be to God, hallelujah. Verse 6, because I said I'm not waiting on nobody. You know, they are lingering. Yes. Stay there. Amen. I bet if it was a plate of food, everybody get up and grab. Yeah. Okay. Everybody would get up and grab that plate of food. What for you all to, to just give me a verse and you all there lingering. No, we have no time to linger. Amen. No. Right. Amen. Verse 6. Who being in the form of God. Look at that. Who being in the form of God. Talk, listen to me. Who being in the form of God. What is God talking about right here? Remember what he said, people of God, in Genesis 6. Let us make man in what? Our mm. own image. Mm. So right if God said, let us make man in our own image. He's saying that, my God Almighty, mm. we as children of God are the form mm. of God. Come on, people. Who mm. yeah. being in the form of God, taught it not robbery to be equal with God. Look at that. It is not a robbery, people, for us to be equal with God. What is God saying? The thing, listen, let me tell you what it means. It's a great revelation here. When God said, taught it not robbery to be equal with God. It's, he's saying the things that God would do, we can do it. But we have to do it from him. Come on, people. Amen, yeah. amen. Mm -hmm. Come on, people. Mm -hmm. When God was there and hurt, he called for the earth into what? Resistant. Existent. He called, sorry, 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 I make a mistake. He called for the earth into existence. He said, earth come forth and earth come forth, right? Us as children of God, whenever we have a need, it is for us. Whenever, this, this is my people of God, and this is something you all need to hear. Whenever you're praying for a need, don't just ask God, God, let this need come forth. Take the boldness and say, I command this to come forth in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. 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 All of you hear me. That is all, that is all you're, you're not. You're, you're, you're trying. You're, you're, you're supposed to be what? Equal with God. Who be in the form of God. Taught it not robbery. He said you're not robbing him. Come on, people. We are not robbing God to be equal with him. We are only showing that we have faith, that we have the authority, that we have the dominion and the power. We have the dominion and power to call things in existence. 
But if you all hear me, people, I want you all understand what I'm saying. You have the boldness. Come on, people. You have to have the boldness. Thought it not robbery. It's just like it's just like my God Almighty. When you all hear me, they're praying for somebody. I don't pray, my God Almighty, as if I'm a little pimp. Come on, people. You pray with boldness. You command, you demand. You bind, you cramp, and you paralyze. You scatter, you shatter into the pit of hell. Come on, people. You all don't hear me. Listen to me. You all don't hear me say, Jesus. Let this thing come out of him now. Jesus. Let these ears open up. Let these feet grow. Let this, this, that. You don't hear me say that, people. I command in the name of Jesus Christ for it to be so. And when God see that, he know that I am not trying to rob him. But I am doing what he is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Didn't he say greater work? Yeah. So right dear people of God Learn to pray and command All of y'all hear me Pray I wonder if y'all hear me here yeah. Come on people y'all too quiet You know this will start sleep and snow down the place Come on man When you stay so quiet You start sleep and saw down the place Like on a day and nail shop Come on, people. Command, right? Command things to be so. Taught it not robbery to be so. You understand me? Taught it not robbery. God said, let there be light. Come on, people. I tell you something, people of God. And I give God praise. I give him glory and I give him honor. I thank God for the authority that is upon my life. Amen because I have seen it happen over and over and over and over where for instance if I'm washing and the sky get very dark I command the rain to go and I command the sun to come and I see it yeah. up and over. And Shavon is here. Shavon can tell you. Joshua. Where is Joshua? I'm here. Remember what happened in Georgia when I was fixing the back porch and the rain was coming down. Tell the people then what happened if you remember. Oh, yes. I remember that day. Clear <laughs> and clean water. Um, so people who got what happened was we were outside, you know, doing some work at the Black Forge. And, you know, my aunt was saying that, you know, she didn't want it to rain and everything. So when she was there, you know, she was crying. And then all of a sudden, the rain just started to slow down. Like, um, you know, like how hail, like fall, and you, you can hear it on the house? It sounded to go really hard. And I was just trying to say, no, she's not. <laughs> and then I say, when, when I see this, like, the sun just, you know, like, roll up! On the rain people of God is like they're using a rope to pull up every grain. Yabash! Hallelujah! I saw the rain. I saw the rain as if somebody using a rope. It shocked me myself. I never know that power was in me. I said in the name of Jesus, rain, stop. And every green, every green that was at least my, maybe, I don't know, before it touched the ground, it rolled back up in the sky. That was a sight. He was right there. People of God is for us to command. Come on, people. Amen. Command. Amen. The word of God tells us that we are to command it. So, come on, look, look it up. 
command e him isaiah 45 11. tell us my god almighty to command come on people look for it isaiah 45 11. find it quick isaiah 45 11. some can somebody read that is all that have sung like somebody has no 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 but i wait you know yeah all right so you see everything is taking up time tonight i can't be bothered people don't even have their bible right there mm -hmm. isaiah 45 11 thus said the lord the only one of israel and his maker ask me of things to come concerning my son and concerning the work of my hands command e me come on people we must command the hands of god yes. to do things come on people yes, we must come on the hands of God to do things. But you know what happened? Let me say this something. Let me say, let, let me say this to you all people. Did you know that these things take to righteousness and holiness? Yeah. This is where many people miss out. Because many people believe they can just say something and it happened just like that. No. That is the reason why the only thing God will not do is what? what he choose not to do come on people because if god see where you are fit commanding his hands he will do it but if he see that you're not fit it won't happen come on people you're gonna be like those false prophets in my god almighty elijah calling down the fire and the fire will not come down Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a God he is. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. You all understand that now? Yeah. Verse 7. But made himself know of no reputation. Look at that God. Yeah. What is God talking about? He never tried to act yeah. as if you know, these last oh, days, man. people that have their shoulder well up and their suit well put together and, you know, right. letting everybody know that they are this or they are that. Right. Name it bragging and boasting. Jesus Christ yeah. bring himself down to our level on earth. Come on, people. Right. Jesus, right. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank right. you, Lord. Can we thank him? Thank, can we thank him? Come on, people of God, can we thank the Lord for doing such a thing for us? He bring himself down with of no reputation. He did not try to my God Almighty. Oh, I am Jesus. I am the Son of God. He didn't even tell people that because when Peter was there with him and he said, Who do you say I am? Who people say I am? And Peter said, Thou art the Son of the living God. He said, Say, do not. He, he tell Peter, um, um, stone cannot tell him that, but the, only the Spirit of God. And he let them know, tell nobody who I am. Come on, people. Yeah. So he yeah. bring himself down to that level by putting on no reputation and took upon himself the form of a servant. Come on, people. Take upon himself a form of a servant. It's just like my God Almighty when I go to some places. I don't ask this and that because God gave me a title. Come on, people. I went last week to meet my mama downtown. She have three bags struggling with. I throw one on my head. I put one on my shoulder and I have one in my hand. And I'm going through the crowd and she laughing. And a lady that knows, I said, where are you? Wait, you, you, you put away your thing. She said, no, see my daughter there. She come and get me. See her there with the two load. And people, some of the people, them laughing. And she said, she said to them, Fram, she's a young girl. That's how she carried me load. Come on, people. 
Amen. Some yeah, people, Lord. my God Almighty, is too much into their self. Come on, talk to me. Hmm? Yeah. Some people are too conceited. They always want you to believe that they are this or they are that. Yeah. When they are just a bag of chips. Thank you, my dear. Who want bag of chips now to eat? Wake up. Wake up and get a bag of chips. Wake up. And some sugar water. Where am I? Where am I? But made himself no reputation and took on upon himself a form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Come on, people. Isn't that great? We're in verse 7. But made himself of no reputation. And took upon him. That is the reason why people of God. If you notice some people come on the line. What they call me. Sister Sharon. You not hear me phones? Yeah. Sister Saint. Be careful of that. Yeah. I would that again. Who is that again saying yeah? No I don't. I don't people of God. I am just what a so when I'm on the empowerment line, I am just what a servant of God. When I'm off it, I'm a servant of Amen. God. Wherever Amen. I am, Amen. I am a servant of God. Come on, people. Upon him, a form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. Now look at it, my God Almighty. He came down, my God Almighty, as a spirit, and land in the womb of Mary. My God Almighty happened to become a baby, happened to born, come out, be a boy, grow up, be a man, my God Almighty. Yeah. Land himself upon this land, doing great and mighty things. Come on, people. Never act as if he is all that. Yeah. But yeah. only do what his father command him to do. What a mighty yeah. God we serve. Yeah. Jesus God. Christ. Yeah. And be in and was made in the likeness of man. You see that? Made in the likeness of men what a wonderful god he is what a wonderful god he is he made in the likeness of men what is he talking about dear he made in the likeness of every man come on people everyone that call upon his name in spirit and in truth in the likeness of men. What a God. Spirit. Come on, people. What? Spirit. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And being formed in the fashion as a man. And being formed in the fashion as a man. Look at that. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death look at that yeah what god is saying to us now right here it is for us as children of the most high god to take to 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 made ourselves of no repetition come on reputation of no reputation. Stop acting as if we're all that when we are not. Come on, people. Especially we as children of God when we go in the midst of others that don't know God. Stop acting like you're better than others. Because you're not. You are not better than anybody. The only thing about it is that you might happen to be in a position more than somebody, but you are not better than anybody. All of us poop, all of us doodle, all of us bench. Come on, people, name it. 
They meet people. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. you sometimes have some people, you know, them just act like them so stucious when them poop. You come in like your wife die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, them let go some yeah. soft poop. And they go on one side and ready to kill you. Acting yeah. as if they are all that. Yeah. I lie. None of us are better than each other. Sometimes yeah, some of us might know. be in a position more than the other, but we are not better than anyone. Yeah. So let us not try to put on that reputation yeah. as if we are all up there and others are down here. It don't work. Yeah. Come on, everybody say it won't work. Yeah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And took upon him the form of a servant. And being formed, being found in fashion as a man. Look at that. Jesus Christ, you know. Yeah. He humbled himself. How much of us can humble ourselves, people, like that? Mm -hmm. How much of us, my God Almighty, when we... Go on the road and we see others and they are ignorant and acting foolish. Can only say, Lord, have mercy and don't curse them out. How much of us? How many of us? I say, have mercy. How many of us people can just humble ourselves and let them say what they have to say and right away you just pray? Yeah. Right away, just pray. Something will happen right there. Yeah. Being humble himself and became obedient unto death. God, yeah. listen to me. There are two different types of death. You have the spiritual and the yeah. physical. Yeah. Amen. 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 You have, no, you have number one. Number one, death is when you come to Christ. And you die from sin. Come on, people. Number two is when death come and steal somebody away. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that as I speak this word, none of you shall die but live to declare the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be obedient unto death. Every even the death of the cross. Come on, people. Yeah. Look what God has done for us. Yeah. That is to show you the humbleness of him. He get to a place where he, even my God Almighty, becomes death of the cross. Look at it. Yeah. What is death? What, 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 is, what, what, is, what is God talking about when he said, Jesus Christ became the death of the cross. Now, the cross was there, people of God. If you notice, with a cross, it's stretched out, right? The same way the cross was stretched out, Jesus Christ was stretched out. But the cross was not dead. It was him that died. Oh, Lord, hear me. It was him that died die. Even the death of the cross he take. Come on, people. He took, he took the death of the cross. They did not destroy the cross. But he died. And if you all hear me, because of what they did to him on the cross, he took that death. Come on, people. And he died. And he died for what? You and I. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. I think I'm going to stop there. Therefore, God has highly exalted him. Come on, people. He has been highly exalted. Why? Because he humbled himself from day one. My God and I, from him, from he started to have sense as a little boy, he humbled himself. You see, when he was in, in the temple there, 
teaching and preaching and telling people things. He was humble. Even when his mother and father could not find him, and when they found they found him, it happened that my God Almighty, they said, Where were you? We were looking, looking up for you, and we could not find you. He said, I was about my father's business. It's so like let me tell you something. You see, if it was us with our parents, the box that we get would sing for us all now. Come on, people. They would give us a slap, would not know you. Our ears would not stop ring. Right. Looking at the adult, telling them, Why you come looking for me? Don't you know I must be about my father's business? They would have said, Which father's business? You see your father with any business? Paddy! Come on, people. He was a humble child. Come on, people, because he was enjoying what he was doing. And if you all hear me, no. he was enjoying what he was doing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He was enjoying what he was doing. What a great God. What a great God, I said, people of God. I hear the Holy Ghost said one more verse 10. Let's even it up, the people. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow and every tongue must come, must, and everything's in heaven and everything's in the earth and things under the earth. Come on, people. Can I explain these to can I explain these to everybody? Yeah. That at the name of Jesus, everything, everything, every knee should bow. He yeah. said things in the heaven, talking about the angels, talking about souls. Come on, people. Everything, yeah. everything in heaven yeah. must bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Things in heaven, things in the earth, all of us. Name it, the trees. If you notice the trees, the donkey, the cow, even the hog, everybody bow. Come on, people. Everybody take a bow. Everybody do what? Take a bow. Take a bow. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He said here, every, every thing in the heaven, everything in the earth, and things under the earth. What do you think is under the earth, people? There is a, 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 a there is a, a, what how could I say it? A place under the earth where you have like the marine spirit, them demons. Come on, people. The underworld, the underworld. Y'all think these things are not real. I'll teach about it one day again. One day I'm going to ask the Lord for the army to teach a deep teaching about demons. How dangerous demons can be. I wonder if you all hear me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You know, me just hear somebody poop. These people are something else. Mm -hmm. Anyway, people of God, that's where it's at. And um, we thank the Lord for his word. Thank him for thank his goodness. God. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his everlasting love. I just felt in my spirit to do some praying tonight. Yes, Lord. I realize on a night like tonight, miracle, yes. healing can take place. Yes, Is Lord. there the one in agreement with that? Yes, I am. Is there the one in agreement with that? Healing, miracle yes. can take place. Yes. 
Glory be to God because what? The Holy Spirit of God is in operation. You all understand what I'm saying? And as his word tells us in Philippians 2 here, verse 6, it said, Who being in the form of God, taught it not robbery to be equal with God. Tonight, I'm, I'm not thinking of being robbed, of, of, of robbing God, but I'm thinking of being equal with God. Come on, people. You understand what I'm saying, people? There's a lady, there's a lady that is in the hospital. She she came here before and I prayed for her. But maybe her faith wasn't up there. She was able to deliver it from demons. But there was sickness at one of her breasts that was very sick. And the mother sent out a request. I want to send a prayer to her in the hospital. I wonder if you all hear me. Yeah. I want to send a prayer to her in the hospital. That young miss, she had a, bre a breast problem. Let me drink a little water, please. One minute. Um. One minute. Bless God. All right, my dear God, yes. I'm going to I'm going to be in service still, right? All right, God bless. God bless. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Glory be to God, hallelujah. So, people of God, I want to pray. I want to pray for that, that lady. Can we start? Glory be to God. Come on, let's lift up Jesus. Lift him up. If your soul has been blessed.